I'll take a look. This is what's left of a mobile home after a fire late last night. Investigators believe it was started by a squatter and neighbors say this isn't the only problem this area has seen. Lisa Corville spoke with one of the neighbors who says something has to change. It sounded like, like an explosion, kind of a big pop and all of a sudden you see this massive fire. That is how Dana was awakened late Thursday night. When she and her neighbors ran outside, they were stunned to see thick smoke wafting into their backyards from east over a state, a neighboring community. This whole area is on fire. Take a look at this video. Officials say a squatter had been living at the abandoned property and was using a candle as a light source. They reportedly left the candle unattended, starting this massive blaze. You could hear a lady screaming. The fire was just getting out of control. So out of control, she and her neighbors started to prepare for the work. We were worried about our houses at that point, and we were like grabbing essentials and throwing them in the car just in case we had to hurry up and get out. Dana says this isn't the first time she and her next door neighbors have had to worry about their backyard neighbors. She says they often hear popping sounds and unexplained loud noises. What is going on in that neighborhood? Like when are they going to do something about this neighborhood? You know, I've had issues with this neighborhood since 2010. We're now in 2023. Like, when is this going to stop? Is basically what we are all saying. But she says when she reaches out to parish officials and authorities, her complaint seems to fall on deaf ears. It's not like they, when we call, they don't care, but also there's no solution to this problem, is also what we get. It's like we don't know what to do with the neighborhood. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News. Fire investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what caused all of that. We reached out to the parish officials about the complaints in the neighborhood. As of news time, we have not heard back. If you have hazardous 